Critics see the raids as an attack on democracy and the freedom of the press. At the offices of both Samanyulu Television and the Zaman Daily newspaper, crowds gathered to protest the arrests. Before police took him into custody, the head of Samanyulu Media Group called the action a disgrace. We are an international media outlet. We also broadcast in foreign countries. These scenes will be marked as a disgrace in history. Both the station and the newspaper are accused of supporting Fethullah Gulen, the ally-turned-rival of President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Gulen lives in the United States. The Turkish government has said it wants him extradited. Erdogan accuses him and his supporters of trying to bring down the government by orchestrating a corruption probe against Erdogan's inner circle, an accusation he denies. The corruption scandal caused a wave of protests last year. Demonstrators called for the government's resignation, and the government, led by Erdogan, who was prime minister at the time, hit back. Alleged Gulen supporters were arrested. Thousands of police officers, judges and prosecutors were reassigned in an effort to purge the state apparatus. The new wave of arrests comes two days after Erdogan announced a further crackdown on Gulen supporters. He vowed to pursue them, quote, into their lairs.